What if I told you that billions in revenue is being left on the table through the simple act of not calling your leads fast enough? Very true, actually. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can set up a voice AI agent to call back and qualify every lead within the first few minutes of it landing in your inbox. Now, for this use case, I'm going to use a mortgage lead qualification assistant, which we have a nice template of inside of Synthflow. And I'm going to pick a real life company to mimic. So log in Synthflow, click the assistance tab and then go to create an assistant in the top right hand corner. Next, select browse our templates, go to the mortgage tab and click lead qualifier. If you want to view the details of exactly what this is, you can. This says, meet Emma, an AI representative for the Southwest Mortgage Corporation. Her primary role is to reconnect with potential clients who previously shown interest in a mortgage loan. With a friendly conversational style, she's here to gather information about the lead, engage them with the company's offerings, and if they're ready, schedule an appointment with a specialist to further discuss options. Sounds great. Let's press create assistant. Now you're going to go through to the deployment tab. Here you're going to need a phone number. Let's select one. Let's use this one. And we're going to leave the caller ID blank. We do not need that. This basically lets your assistant use the phone number to make calls. Very important. Next, we're going to go through to the prompt. And let's read through this together so we understand what we're dealing with and how this assistant's going to hold these conversations. Go to edit prompt and we're going to scroll through this together. We have a number of scenarios here. So we have the prompt is broken down to who you are, the purpose of the call, the call actions. This could be the script. Then we have the next part, which determines the interest in a mortgage loan. If they confirm interest, proceed to the home buying status find out their current home buying status, the time frame for a mortgage need, determine the mortgage value, very straightforward questions for qualifying if they're ready to buy or not, their financial situation assessment, the personal information collection. So if you get this far and they're still going ahead with the call, you want to try and gather some information again, the email address, Engage and highlight their offering. You can time to shill your own company and put forward the offers you have. It could be low interest rates in this case. Then go down to appointment scheduling. If the buyer is still on the hook at this point, you may want to book them in the calendar so somebody, a human, potentially can give them a call back afterwards and hit them with a custom offer, for example. Next, go down to the appointment booking. To have an assistant book into your calendar, you must set up a real-time booking action. We use cal.com for this. I'm going to show you that in just a second email confirmation and then we go down to the knowledge base so the knowledge base is a good opportunity to put in information about the company the context window the amount of information that you can put in this is actually quite large so feel free to be quite generous with this this basically gives the outline of the company some contact details then we get down to things like the target audience. So the target audience, the ICP of your company that helps the assistant communicate better. And then we've got some guardrails and some situational scenarios of how to handle objections. So responding when asked if you are an AI, say this, how to handle misdialed or wrong numbers. So if somebody else picks up the phone that you're not, they're not expecting, do this, and then you can answer any more questions that may come up through the call depending on your use case okay so that is how we structure a prompt now i'm just going to edit this prompt to put in the right company name here so anyway you see brackets this means that you can change this according to your company okay now we've got the texas mortgage company in there we're just going to go and save the prompt we're going to leave this lead name in there that's that's good to me and one thing that you might want to do, do you remember when we talked about the calendar and appointment scheduling, we're just going to add a real time action to this. If we go into actions, we're going to go in during the call. This is by default. This is something which happens while on your call. We're going to go to add action and we're going to go to real time booking. Now we're just going to collect, connect one cal.com event account. We've got a tutorial for this inside of the Academy inside of Synthflow again. So I'll link it in the description here or below this post. So you can go direct to that lesson of how to do this. But this real time booking basically is connected to cal.com. We're going to set the time zone to 
Let's have a look. US uh, Central Time. The initial booking date, we're going to start from January the 1st. We're going to do two dates for the offering, two slots per day, hours between slots. Okay, cool. Looks good. Let's press save. And now we're pretty much good to go. Let's go ahead and place a test call to see how this comes through to us. There is additional settings before I get into that that you might want to change is if you go to the configure tab, you can actually change, let's say the time zone, you might want to change the assistant time zone too, to US Central. If you wanted to add any custom vocabulary, this is the case that if you have a company name which has a word that's tough to pronounce, you can break it down uh, phonetically. Here, if you wanted to edit the voice, the users, you can do that too, and then change any of the settings within this voice. Again, we're going to do it on this tutorial, but it's all there. So let's go ahead and do a test call and see how this goes. I'm going to go phone. Let's go and test the phone number. We're going to call this test number. It's Tom. And let's do Simflow.ai. This is for the cal.com integration. And we're going to do this number. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, we're getting a call. Hello. Hi, is this Tom? Uh, yes, it is. Hi. Hey there. Perfect. This is Emma from Texas Mortgage Company. I noticed you reached out to us a while back about securing a mortgage. Do you have a quick 40 seconds to chat about it? Uh, yeah, let's do it. I have to be quick, though. Awesome. Just to confirm, are you still looking to secure a mortgage for a new home purchase? Yes, I am. Great. Could you tell me where you are in the home buying process? Are you looking at listings under contract or perhaps have an offer pending? I'm just looking at listings at the moment. Got it. And when are you hoping to secure your mortgage? Within the next few months or a bit further out? Yeah, within the next few months. Perfect. Do you have a target mortgage amount in mind? Uh, around 500000 Thanks for sharing that. Do you happen to know your credit score or could you give an estimate? This helps us get a sense of what options might work best. Around eight to 900 That's a solid range. And what's your approximate annual income? This just helps us recommend the right financing options for you. Uh, around fifty to one hundred and fifty thousand. Thanks for the info. Could I grab your zip code for our records? Zero seven one eight one. Great, thanks. And what's the best email to send additional info if needed? Uh, Tom at synthflow dot ai. Thanks, Tom. Just so you know, at Texas Mortgage Company, we work with a wide network of lenders to find competitive rates and flexible options that fit each client's situation. We handle everything from application to closing, making the process as smooth as possible. Would you be open to scheduling a call with one of our mortgage specialists to discuss tailored options? Uh, yeah, that'd be great, actually. Awesome. Just to confirm, you're in the central time zone, right? I am, yes. Great. I have an opening on Sunday, January 5th at 9 p.m. Would that work for you or would you prefer a different day? Um, do you have anything Monday? It looks like Monday is fully booked. Would you like to stick with Sunday, January 5th at 9 p.m. or should I check for another day? Uh, yeah, we can do that actually. Please wait a moment while I book your meeting. You're all set for Sunday, January 5th at 9 p.m. You'll receive a calendar invite shortly. Please accept it so we know you got it. If you have any questions or need to reschedule, just let me know. Uh, brilliant. Thanks for the call. So that was a pretty solid example of a call which you can now set up in a few minutes if you have a mortgage company and you want to start qualifying leads immediately. So you can set this up through an automation which connects through Zapier into 
your CRM and then into SynthFlow. So when a new lead comes in, they get called within the first few minutes. And studies show that this shows an exponential rise in converted leads if it's called within the first 15 minutes. So huge upside to setting this up. One tutorial that I recommend looking at after you see this video is going over to the Academy and checking out how to set up information extractors. Now, these are things that pull out key details out of the call. They come attached to this template. We haven't got time to cover them today and you can set them up and then push the information back into your CRM or send yourself an email containing the details of that call. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll catch you on the next one.